I think this is our last music segment of the day. I might be wrong and let look up new album. But um last topic for just for our, our music portion. Right now, uh Master P is being awarded at the BET Hip Hop Awards for the I Am Hip Hop Award. So, um gentlemen, what do you think about Master P? I I guess I'll start. Yeah, I'll start first with uh, Master P. Um, this is great. He's finally getting the recognition the recognition that he needed. I always thought there's always three people I thought needed recogni- recognition. Uh, it was Soldier Boy, Master P, and Lil Troy. Now Lil Troy probably will never get that recognition, but hey, it is what it is. But <laughs> for, listen, I you know I always thought want to be want to be a baller was a classic. And then it is. But once I got to Houston and I went to this barber shop, uh, shout out to my barber Cole. Cole, he played he played the song for me. He said, "Listen, I want you to listen to this song and tell me what he said lyrically." I said, "Okay." So the first verse, it was lyrical. The second verse, when he uh double those marble flows, naked women around me. That you know that's what he said. Mm-hmm. And I said, "You know what? You're right." Yeah, he didn't say anything, but hey, I always thought he needed that. But shout out to Lil Troy, shout out to Master P, shout out to Soldier Boy. Uh, but seriously, this is great for Master P. This gives him the staple. Of, he is the staple of the South, or he is a leading staple of the South. I'll say that, especially for Louisiana and from Texas. If you from, you know, Louisiana and Texas in hip hop, I feel like they they honestly go together. Like they have to share, they yeah. share that, and because it's different, like mm. Louisiana and Mississippi, you don't hear a lot of Mississippi rappers. Yeah, the, the, hardly any. The main ones I can name, of course, Soldier Boy, Sway Lee, uh, Slim Jimmy, Big Crit, Big Crit, and um, David Banner. That's and David Banner, but David Banner blew up when he was in Louisiana. I thought. No, he was in Mississippi. He was in Mississippi. Okay. Yeah. So I can't name. Because because David Banner was in uh in Crooked Letters with a Kamikaze back in the late nineties before he went solo. You see, folks, you see why I have my encyclopedia with me. <laughs> Andy, yeah, man, listen, I did not even know that. Andy, Andy, Andy. Yeah. Okay, right there, man. Listen. Yeah, yeah. They had they had a song called uh oh crap. Pimp C produced it. It's a it's a really oh get crunk. Yeah, it's called Get Crunk. Listen, if you if never if nobody if you haven't heard Get Crunk by Crooked Letters featuring Pimp C produced by Pimp C, I think it's amazing. I think I have heard that song actually. Yeah, yeah, it's a really, really good song. Every day, uh, and listen, every podcast, Ricardo, he's who will give you a fun fact, and you just be like, "What?" That's true. That's true. <laughs> every time I talk to Ricardo, he tells me something new I don't know. That is very true. That's no, but well, go ahead, Ricardo. Uh, I was gonna say, I feel. I mean, I feel like maybe because we live in Texas, we've always had like that respect for Master P. Mm-hmm. So, so that's why I'm kind of confused. I'm saying, like, like, what do you mean he he's not getting the respect he deserves? Because I've always seen him get the respect he deserves from you know, national his, well, his, I, his I, I, peers. You think well, nationally? I mean, uh, nationally too, because you know, yeah, I feel like he gets it nationally. No, no limit at a, at a at a point was was huge. It was everywhere. Not not just mm-hmm. the South, but it was you know a big thing in across the whole nation. You know, mm-hmm. especially you know once Master P dropped Make a Say Uh and you know all those other songs toward the, the late nineties, he was he was getting airplay across the US like like nothing. So Okay I feel so, I feel so. like if anybody needs I feel like if anybody needs recognition it'll probably be more of like the other artists like uh like uh C Murder. C Murder, I mean, yeah of course, uh Soldier Slim, you know, rest in peace. Uh Mia X, uh Fiend, you know, a lot of the people that were on the label that probably didn't get that that uh, huge recognition at the time, but you know you mm-hmm. can go back and listen to their stuff now, and you know it, it still rocks. You know any mm-hmm. kind of club or any event. So, and and you know Master P's a, a genius. He's a he's a, a innovator when it came to like you know really pushing that that southern sound and and also just making it a such a a machine. You know, because they were putting out albums like every week. Right. So, but okay. So. To answer your question of 
why I feel this way. Okay, so when you name labels, mm-hmm. why do we not lay a name No Limit in the top three? We always name Bad Boy, Most Deaf, and I, you know, I just cash money and cash. Okay, cash money. Why, yeah. why, why can't we name No Limit? I think because uh because of history. I think because it, it eventually crumbled. I think that's what it is. I think it wasn't able to last like some of the other ones have been able to. And because of that, it kind of tainted Masterpiece Legacy. Not so much him as a person, but I think the label as a whole just could not recover after all the uh, the mismanagement of money and just the oversaturation of music, all the big artists either dying or leaving the label. Uh, I mean, they had Snoop toward the very end, but by that point, you know, No Limit was kind of out, out of the door. Okay. So it never really got a chance to, re- to reach that cash money uh, aftermath, shady, Interscope type of level. No limit or switch house if we have a battle. Oh, a battle of songs. You got to pick 10 songs. No limiters. Like, but they just put out 10 songs. Go on, so sure. uh, you're going to so- kind of hard. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's hard because switch house was such an independent thing. It never really got to that level. I feel like you got to like I think I feel like you got to do like cash money versus a uh, no limit. Okay, I'll take it. Or or uh, cash money. Uh, I mean not cash money or no limit. Uh, rap a lot. Yeah, I like that one. Yeah. No limit rap a lot. That'd yeah. probably be a more uh, a more fair uh, comparison or like battle. Okay, uh, Jacob, did you have anything else on Master P? No, nah, just that. Uh... Mass P gets the res- uh, respect that he deserves, I believe, because no other rapper has ever made it to the league but Master P. This is true. That's fair. That's that respect. With the Raptors and the um, Hornets. Hornets. Oh. Yep. Now, now, when he did his stint in the league, preseason, wasn't wasn't he? Yeah, Percy Miller. What um, did he play in any games? Yeah, pre- oh, preseason, preseason, game. preseason. Okay, I can't see. I can't remember the history of like if he, he actually. Didn't... He didn't make the team for the season, but he played in the preseason games for both teams. And um, the owner said he, you know, he was a great athlete uh, when they did the, you know, the final roster meetings. The owner and the general manager said, yo, you're a great athlete. You can really play. But just because of the music that you've put out and things that you've said in your songs and all that, uh, we can't let you be a part of this organization. I don't know which team said that, but he, that's what he said in, in his documentary. I think uh, it was Toronto. I, so I, it was, I think. Go ahead. No, I said I, I just think it's Toronto. I'm, I'm not sure, but I think. Okay. Uh, so going with that, it was always about a, um, pub, you know, not pub, publicity stunt, but it was like a, Hey, you're not really safe for kids, even uh, though oh, like an image type of thing. Image, thank you. Mm-hmm. It was image, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's an image deal. That, yeah, that's yeah. where they they did them wrong. But I, I, got, I, I feel I, like we gotta we gotta talk about that one day about uh not so much you know Master P becoming a basketball player, but basketball player that try to become rappers. I feel like we gotta have a, like a serious conversation about that one day because you know there's so many basketball players that wanna be rappers. <laughs> that's and so I, funny because. 